Good morning, this is Liz Bailey, Independent Stampin' Up! Ind Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I don't know why I will stumble over that, but I guess you'll get used to it. Um, I'm in Basin, New Jersey, USA, and I originally come from Britain, hence the mixed up accent. My British friends tell me I sound American, and my American friends tell me I sound British. Who knows? Anyway, I'm here today to show you three cards with the Inspiring Irish set, which is a bit of a sleeper, I think. Um, I was really pleased to see that it is going to be in next year's book, but I bought it mm, probably June, July last year, and I hadn't inked it up. But if you look at it, it's really quite lovely. One thing I did find a little sad on the retiring list, and I'm going to use one of these today, is Beautiful You, which has the three ladies and lots of fantastic sentiments. It was probably one of my most popular cards, according to Pinterest. I did all three of them on one card, and it still brings people to my blog, which is... Uh, really quite surprising. I quite liked it. I didn't realise that it was going to go quite as viral as it did. So anyway, let me show you what we're going to do today. Here's the first one that I made for one of my co colleagues at work. She's a DJ in the evening, so and she loves to dance, so this seemed like a really good one for her. Then I was going to play with the chrysanthemums that are in here, but then I noticed, let me show you, right here, there's a tulip. Now, tulips are pretty much my favourite flower, so I had to play with them. But I couldn't really decide whether it should be three tulips or one tulip, so I did both. And then I was going to do the chrysanthemum card, but I kind of like this one. It's simple. And then, as all my cards are, I thought I'd um, jazz it up a bit. So this is about as jazzy as I get, which reminds me. This one is, is showing this new um, folder, ornate something or other. It's in the ornate garden suite that has been released a month early and you can get it now. And that also reminds me of something that I find extremely useful. I took all my, can you see? Yes. I took all my embossing folders and I did it in white because, you know, why not? And I did all of them and labelled them. I should have labelled them on the back so that I could actually put it on a card and say, yeah, that one works. Because I find that if I, without this, there's some I don't use very often because I don't think about them. And I always, I get stuck on uh, subtle. I got really stuck on subtle for a long time and that was all I was pretty much using. But this is helping me to use all of my, all of my folders. So let's get started. I'm going to move you down. Let's hope this works. Oops, please don't get seasick. I think I need to tighten that a bit. Okay. I believe that now we're in the right place. So let me just change glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing. And we'll do some crafting. Okay. That right, that's about right, isn't it? Yes, good. So let's start with this one. So this is going to be a bit nerve wracking because it's four stamps that have to go together. So let's give it a go. Snail out of the way, and we don't need that. So, oops, oops. <laughs> yeah, 
right, let's see. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. I think about there. Next is, well, next I like to do is the actual flowers themselves. So, this is a little tricky. I'm not really sure that this was such a great idea. Maybe if I had the stamp the right way up, it would be better. So, let me see if I can get this about right. Uh, since I can't quite look right on top of it. Well, actually, that's not so bad. Not bad at all. But then I found I've moved your the, the camera down a bit in the hopes that I can get over it a bit more. But I tried standing up and that doesn't work because then I just have too much shadow. Now this one's tricky, but there's a, the base of the flower is here and there. So I look at that piece and the two edges. And similarly, when I was putting on the, uh, the rich razzleberry, I was looking at that piece and that piece. And as you bring it down, uh, you can see it line up better when you're almost to the paper and you can adjust if necessary. Wow, I am I'm surprised. I, I had so much so much doubt that I could do that from back here that I actually um, had another one so that I could say, oh well that was terrible. Uh, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> but you know what? I don't know that I'm going to need it. So a little bit of yellow on them. Sure, that's not uh, botanically correct, but uh, it is what it is. So I don't need that anymore. I don't need this one. Let's just take those out of the way. I shouldn't have closed this because I need it for my sentiment. Hey, Kylie. Thanks for watching. And this is my sentiment. I love it, but. It's retiring. I'm so sad about that. So we'll just put that there. There we go. Not brilliant, but you know what? Let's do this one instead because that wasn't a very good stamping. So it is a good thing I did one earlier. Much better. Right, let me get rid of this. I've apparently smeared all over my thumb, but... Is also retiring by the way so I would go to the uh, clearance rack and get some refills if you are a particular if you're particularly fond of it I'm looking forward to the new ones that they're coming out with so there we go number one done let's put that on there oh I guess I should show it here again so there we go first one then the second one, this is going to be fun, <laughs> like this. So I've got my stuff pre-cut, use the, um, the sit shaped dies, which are probably one of my favorites. Well, yeah, probably is my favorite they're so versatile you get three different shapes and they're all stitched around the edge which apparently I really like and it, <laughs> oops it saves me from
from having to actually get out my sewing machine and remember how to set it up, which might be a problem. So, we are looking, here we go. So this one, I decided, it's a single stamp. I wanted to have green leaves and poppy parade tulips, but it's a single stamp. So how did I do that? Right, so this is what I did. I inked up that piece and then I inked up that piece like so. I'm not sure, mm, I may have to move, do it again. Well, I do have to do it again. So I'll just put it in the middle and then let's take that out of the way. Let's do that again so that you can definitely see. I like to get a little bit of the green on the petal because that's how it works, really. And then ink that piece, bring this back in. Of course, normally you would uh, probably, well, as I did when I did the other one, you would uh, do the stamping and then put the uh, and then cut it out. It's safer that way. But you know, my big shot is in another room. It's a, a good way for me to get a few steps in <laughs> and to make sure I don't just sit down all afternoon in my craft room. So I have to get up to do heat embossing and I have to get up to do any die shot work. There we go. That came out pretty well from not being right on top of it. So that's that. I have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, pre-scored uh, a pre-scored uh, car base. Sorry, I'm losing track of what I'm doing. I am really blonde, so it's, you know, you can't really expect me to be able to do two things at once. So, <laughs> hey, Laurie. So what I did was just use a spare block to hold it down. I wanted to have the... There we go. I wanted to have the... No, that's not the right one. <laughs> it's this one. I wanted it to be just underneath where I'm going to put the thing. So it's best to have it where you're going to put it so then you know where to stamp. So, that looks great. Uh, I do love this set. I can't believe it sat on the shelf for so long and I just didn't even play with it. It's crazy. But I still got the chrysanthemums to play with and so I think there'll be a bit more play today. I'm putting on a lot of dimensionals. I'm not going to bother peeling off most of them because you don't actually need that many to hold down um, to hold down a tiny piece of card, but I don't want it to be saggy in the middle, so that's there to prevent that. And then, is that straight? Yes, I think so. Card number two. So this is when I really intended to do the chrysanthemums, but I was, I'd already stamped another another of the poppies, uh, sorry, tulips in Poppy Parade, that's hence, hence the confusion. Um, and I thought, well, I can't waste that. I realize it's only a bit of cardstock, but it uh, shouldn't be wasted. So I uh, had got this done and I thought, what can I do? And I thought, how about I jazz it up a bit? Well, jazz it up for me, you understand, because <laughs> I don't get very jazzy. I like simple. 
I put it down to being a mathematician, but I think it's just, I don't know what it is. I just don't like them too fussy. So, but how to jazz it up, I thought. So, let's use this new ornate um, embossing folder. Ornate floral, I think. I can't remember, but it's part of the ornate garden suite. So, easy to find. I like to do this matting. I I look at the long edge because there's more time to see that you've got a problem than if you use a short edge. And that one looks good, and that one looks good, which means the other should be good. So let me put this onto the base. Oh, this is garden green, by the way. I don't know. I feel kind of guilty I've been abandoning Garden Green because I love the Tranquil Tide that we had last year. and But Shaded Spruce has taken over pretty well for me. And so it's nice to pull out Garden Green. So there we go. So, oh, here's another tip for you. I um, was trying to make this a bit more jazzy because, you know, I th if I'm going to step it up a bit, then I should step it up a bit. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll put some ribbon on it. So I went looking for garden green ribbon. I couldn't find any, but I did find some gold. So I decided I would put a gold bow on, and it looked horrible, so I had to remove it. But in the meantime, I had put this up too high. So here's the tip. If you put things with dimensionals in the wrong place, you can get your snips and you can cut through the dimensional and get your thing off. And then you can kind of rub the dimensional off. Um, trust me, it works uh, because um, I do it. So here is the, this is on the um, So Sweetly, Stitch So Sweetly dies, which Give you different shapes and this is also from there too so stitch so sweetly it's a uh, kind of fun right so that's the stamping so now we just have to put it together so that will go about there i think and that doesn't want to go too tall there we are now i think i popped them all up yes i did i do like dimensionals as you can probably tell <laughs> that's how I make things more special yeah I know everyone else does layers and ribbon and embellishments I thought about embellishments but I couldn't find anything that I particularly thought worked so no embellishments hi Jamie right so I'll just take off say four of them and then this goes, ooh, I think right about there. And let's pop this up too. Why not? Let's take two of them off. So, ooh, I better get these closed up and out of my way before a disaster happens. So, there we go. There's that one, and here are the other two. So, I would love it if you would share this uh, with just share it with a, a different group because that really helps me to get more um, views. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I, I recommend that you, if you're a 
person that buys Stampin' Up! stuff, go there and check out the things that are on um, the last chance list because they will not be available after June 2nd and some things are selling out already because it's as supplies last. So um, I recommend an afternoon sitting, going through that and uh, placing an order, preferably with me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will be here next Sunday at 11. Uh, I hope you can join me. Bye.